Hello and welcome to 4 Minute Folklore. First of all, I'd like to apologise for the background sound. I'm sorry, it's so echoey and you can hear a fan in the background. It's very hot here today. So let's get into it. So you think you know the story of the Pied Piper. Well, I bet you don't. Here's the original story. In the settlement of Francheville, which basically means the free town or the town of the free men, where no man was in servitude, there was no lord. On the northwest coast of the Isle of Wight, it had a natural harbour and natural oyster beds to feed the people, thick wooded la- woodlands behind, which provided firewood aplenty and uh, lots of nuts and things to feed their pigs. A Francheville was known for its prosperity. In fact, in the 14th century, it was far more prosperous than Newport, which is the county town. And it got its prosperity from salt, the salt trade. And it is said that the salt that was made in French town was the best in Europe. Along with their prosperity came rats, lots of rats. And these were no ordinary rats. They're not sure where they came from, but these were large, vicious rodents. And they worked in packs. They imported cats, but you know what? The cats were taken care of by the rats instead of the other way around. They fell victim to the deadly rodents. Rat catchers could not keep up with the problem. Their traps wouldn't uh, work on these these rats. Uh, So they had to be killed with a stout cudgel or sword. They had to be done manually or by hand. Eventually, the Lord Mayor and the town's aldermen put up a reward of £50. It's about £55,000 today to anyone who could rid them of this vermin. Eventually, a strange-dressed musician appeared in the town, not from the harbour, but from the centre of the island, well, the woodland, actually. Don't did not give his name, he did not say his place of origin, only that he could do as the town needed and requested. He marched through every corner of the town, through Gold Street, Silver Street, Key Street, and the rest, playing his pipe. But what emerged wasn't normal music, it was a strange sound. And the rats came out of the barrels, and the barns, and the houses, and the haystacks. They came out in droves. The piper led the vermin down to the harbour. He then got into a boat and started to row out into the mudflats. The uh, rats followed him, and when he got to the mudflats, they all clambered up. But the mud was so sticky that they got stuck. And as the tide rose, they all drowned. The piper got back to the town. He was only offered £20 by the Lord Mayor, which was not even half of what he had originally been offered. The piper refused the sum and uh, left the mayor and began to walk around the town again, this time playing a slightly different sound out of his, his flute. This time, the children came flocking after him. They came out of the doors, dancing, and those that couldn't dance walked, And those that couldn't walk crawled. They all followed this magical tune. To the horror of the adults, the piper took the children through into the woods. Some dark magic prevented the the adults from following and the woods closed up behind them. The piper and the children were never to be seen again. And this is how we know that this is the original story. Because in 1377, some 30 years after this story took place, the French attacked the town. And according to historical records, there were only elderly men to defend because there were no children. They had lost a whole generation. From that day on, the town descended into basically a pauper's paradise. It never recovered. There's a moral in there somewhere.